What is the scummiest thing a teacher has ever done to you? I made a tornado chamber in my freshman year of high school for a project. It was by far the best in class demonstration anyone had made and was fun to play with. I left it in a media room for my teacher to use to demonstrate and gave me full credit for building it. After he was done using it. He told me I could take it home but it was stolen by another teacher before I could take it home. The teacher rubbed my marked name off of it and used it in her class taking full credit for something she built. I eventually got it back but the other teacher clung to her lie and insisted it was hers. This was the lesson to teach you that just because you wrote your name on something doesn't make it yours. You have to pee on it. Third grade teacher threw several parties during the year. Sent a note home telling everyone what to bring in. Then later would say there wasn't time. Or we didn't deserve the party and take all the stuff home with her. It was many years before I realized how wrong that was. Edit. Clarity. 7th grade math test. Had to solve 4x. Throughout the equation. The x was on the right side. But when I finally solved 4x. I moved it to the left to make it say x equals 5 because it just sounds better and that's the normal way to assign variables. She marked it wrong because she wanted me to keep the variable on the same side of the equation the whole way through. Which means she wanted 5 equals x. TL. DR. That is complete bullshit. Stories like these fill me with rage. Drafting teacher hated me. Picked on me. Pointed me out regularly. Derided me. Not appreciably. But it was obvious to everyone in the class that I was the one he wished wasn't there. Finally. About 3 stroke 4 through the school year he finally asked me what he'd been wanting to ask me the whole time. Why are you taking drafting in the first place? You just want to be a professional violinist. I was dumbstruck. I played violin. And stand up bass. But I wasn't fooled into believing I could ever be a professional at either. When I asked him where he got that idea he told me that I'd said so on the questionnaire he passed out at the start of the year. I told him I'd never said such a thing. And that he should reread the form. He puffed up. Yelled something about how he'd do just that. He stomped into his office. Jerked open his filing cabinet. Pulled out a paper and read it for a moment. He then slammed his office door and we didn't see him for the rest of class. I won. I got 100% on my math homework in grade 7. He made the whole class stand up and clap for me at the end of the class and was purely sarcastic towards me. My English teacher in 8th grade wouldn't give out 100s on essays or even spelling quizzes because only God is perfect. Yes this was a private catholic school. Yes I was pissed off. I spelled all the words right you old bag. That's 100% correct. 10th grade science class. Teacher poses a question in lecture. A species of bird always eats dirt from a specific cliff prior to eating the fruit of a type of tree. Why? A couple students gave answers about roughage and flavor. It says that there may be a chemical in the dirt which offsets a poison in the fruit. I was told to get out to the hallway. Teacher comes out demanding to know who told me. That question was not supposed to be answerable I suppose. He had planned to spend a couple classes on the subject before revealing the answer and how the scientists arrived at it. He tried to get me suspended. Given the elements mentioned it seemed the only logical conclusion. This was one of the contributing factors to me hating school. Suspension for a correct answer? Not done to me but still scummy. My 5th grade teacher made me stay after class to finish my homework every day, wouldn't do it otherwise, and I overheard her conversation with another teacher. The other teacher mentioned how a student of hers got a perfect grade on her test and so she changed one of his answers to get rid of his perfect grade. I didn't tell anyone at the time because I thought I would get in trouble for eavesdropping. Oops. Took a class called industrial arts in junior high. We built birdhouses. Wired simple electrical systems. Etc. Male teacher calls me out on the first day. Points to me and tells the class that I don't belong there because I'm female. Blonde. And left handed. Gives me a D on all my projects just because and made fun of me daily. Upside. 
You also could have stated intent to press charges for sexual harassment and discrimination against the teacher. You probably would have ended that teacher's career and cost him a shitload in settlements. When I was in second grade we shared classroom space with the first graders one of which was my younger brother. For Christmas he brought in a jar of hard candies for his teacher and she gave him one but told him not to eat it until he got home. Of course he went back into the area where the cubbies were and ate it right away. He choked on the candy and vomited into his cubby. After he got sent home his teacher and the head janitor pulled me out of my class and made me clean out his vomit filled cubby because I was his older brother. I'm not really sure why they thought this was a good idea but at the time I didn't question it and cleaned up all his papers and crayons and such. I failed a paper because the teacher told me my opinion was wrong. We were doing an essay on Stalin and authoritarianism and I decided to try to defend authoritarianism for a challenge. And while the resultant paper was not the best, it deserved to pass. When I talked to my teacher about the grade, she told me that I couldn't morally justify authoritarianism in any way. No matter what justifications I had used, economic, social, etc. Comma and therefore my opinion was wrong. I couldn't do anything about it either. As she was the department head for that subject in my school. I'm sure the irony was lost on her. My high school art teacher pretty much stated outright in front of the class that males are incapable of creating great art. And that she would never give an 80% or higher grade to any male in the class. Thank goodness she was only there for half the semester. With the other half being a tech design class taught by a different person. I personally can't think of any famous male artists. Leonardo da Vinci. Vanessa Van Gogh. Sally Dali. All female. In sophomore year, I had a very narcissistic, degrading, and condescending geoscience teacher. Every single day he made everybody's lives hell by yelling at us. Not even teaching and only assigning book work. And telling everyone how we're going to fail in life if we can't even succeed in his class. I tried to get out several times. After many meetings with both the counselor, principal, vice principals, and him. I never got out. I was stuck in that room all year. I was tolerant up until one day in particular. He told me. You know. With the grades you have you're never going to amount to anything in life. Mind you. I was an average student. A few A's and B's. Lowest grade I had was a C in his class. I responded with. Oh really? So you're telling me that with the grades I get I'm going to end up like you? Thanks for the motivation. Totally worth the 3 day suspension and lecture from him I got afterwards. Told me I never took the final exam although attendance shows I was there and she has my scantron of it. But not the actual test with the questions. Big ordeal over summer between junior and senior year. Second grade teacher told my mom I was saying really disgusting s sort of things about her. Made my whole family think I had some kind of Oedipus complex. I never said any of the things my teacher claimed I said. It made me hate my teachers and parents until I hit high school. I would probably be a lot more normal if it weren't for that woman. But oh well. Had a principal who always got me into some sort of trouble. We would be in some form of rally and he would walk up to me randomly and yell in front of everyone. Kreps 564 in my office. Now. Full stop. Once I got to his office all he would say is. Just needed to get you out of there before you do something stupid. It was infuriating and eventually I told my mom who called him and reamed his ass out. The principal finally broke down and admitted that I looked like someone who used to bully him when he was in school. And took out his anger on me. He was also intimidated by the fact that I was 6 feet 3 by high school and he was a 5 feet 3 man. Don't know if that was true and he had issues. Or he was just an asshole. I hated high school because of him. I always tried to be so nice to everyone but since the principal didn't like me. All the teachers though I was a bad kid. Really sucked. He gave me an F on one of my essays in 8th grade. Because my mom rejected him at the parent teacher conference. That's awful. How could she? 
the principal banned me for a week of high school. Because I was riding my bike without hands. Well. Now you know you can ride your bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. We had a music theory test in band. Yes. We had tests in band. The day after the test. We all went to our cubbies where we normally receive sheet music to get our tests back. Everyone's except mine was there. Everyone did terribly. I notice the band teacher with a test in his hand. He proceeds to tell the class that we all did horribly. Except me. And since I was able to do the test. There would be no grading curve. Thanks for stabbing me in the back asshole. If everyone does bad on a test it's the teacher's fault for not teaching the material. Worked for hours on a huge collage for a book project in English and my teacher decided to tape it on the wall outside of the classroom before grading it. Someone stole it and she made me do the entire project again. Deducting points because it wasn't as good as the first one. She was the craziest of cat ladies and I've never hated a human before her. My first year of college my professor told me I was too stupid and I should join the army instead of going to school. Now I am on track to graduate next December. Had a teacher in high school that was a half step from full on pervert. Drag the seating chart so all of the good looking girls sat in front row. Would flirt with them. Etc. I doubt he ever did anything truly inappropriate, like illegal. But the guy was just a skeezy jackass. A friend of mine and I would call him out on this whenever we possibly could. It was never MR. X. Stop being a pervert but stuff like cheerleaders are wearing uniforms on Friday MR. X. Don't get too excited etc. To retaliate. He would lose our assignments. And tell us to look through his inbox. His inbox was a takeout to the curb sized trash can that he kept full of old papers in case students ever try to claim I'm not organized. We would always find the missing assignments. But knowing he did this. We had to ask for our grades each and every week so we could keep on top of what he had lost. It should be stated that he never lost any assignments from any girl who would flirt with him. In some cases they would get grades for assignments they never even submitted. I skipped a grade in elementary school. And my new classmates were bound to not like me for that reason alone. It didn't help that I had a terrible lack of social skills. My teacher organized a game called Stump for Seprophets where everyone would pull out their dictionary. And each day one person would get to try to find a word in the dictionary that I couldn't define. I don't know. Maybe she thought this would get the other kids interested in learning. But it ended up just whipping them up into an angry mob against me. It really didn't help because she would never intervene. And I would get bullied pretty badly. In 6th grade I was in Catholic school. During religion class we were having a discussion about the Passion of the Christ which came out a year prior. Everyone was praising the movie so I raised my hand and said. MRS. Mahoney I didn't like Passion of the Christ she was in shock and asked why I didn't like it. I responded. The film relied too heavily on the violence. She was so offended that she gave me silent lunch so I could think about why Mel Gibson made that film in the first place. Basically. I got punished for having a negative opinion on a 2 hour snuff film about Jesus Christ. Got called a serial killer by my IT teacher because I always smile. 8th grade math teacher accused, and then charged and brought to court, me and a friend with assault and battery with intent to harm or kill. Because we sprayed, non-toxic, Windex into a styrofoam cup that held the board markers. Apparently we were trying to kill her. We had to go to court and everything. Got suspended etc. And dealt with the stigma as the girls who tried to kill the teacher for the rest of our years in that town. Luckily. The judge thought it was insane. And dismissed it immediately since there was no evidence. Edit. Also. In second grade I did something dumb like trip someone. And my teacher yelled at me and called me amateur. I looked at her and said. I mate. My teacher got me kicked out of her creative writing class for writing a short story about a little ghost girl who was lonely and she killed a little boy and her dog so she could have friends. 
They even called in my probation officer at the time and she put me in anger management classes for being passive aggressive. Apparently I was going to go kill animals and people. Sophomore year chemistry. Test time. Deducted 6 points from a 5 point question. When questioned. Stated. It was really wrong. I was. And still am. Totally flabbergasted by this. Fail an entire class of 450 people because of their inability to teach and giving up on life during the semester. The university still honors the grade. Despite firing the professor. The class played a major role in having to switch majors and schools. I got a C in freshman choir. The worst grade I had ever gotten. And the only comment was doesn't smile enough. FCK that teacher. My favorite middle school teacher urged me out of love to decline my acceptance to the local private high school because she claimed it would be too hard for me and I would fail. And no. She was not doing it to encourage me. She really thought that. Criticized my essay in front of the entire class. Even saying how unfortunate that mine was better than most of the class. She went blind about a month later due to a diabetic attack. Needless to say. No one missed her. Acted nice to me in class. I thought I was doing a great job. Then told my parents during parent teacher conferences that I was a major troublemaker that was always challenging his authority and that I had serious issues. This made no sense to me. Up until that point he was my favorite teacher. Also. All my other teachers. Before and after. Said that they really enjoyed having me in class. I really don't know what this teacher had against me. He thought your parents were the parents of another kid maybe? Anyone else feeling registologic? In 1993 my second grade teacher made me sit out of a movie afternoon because I refused to let a couple classmates play with a toy I had brought to share with my friends. Those round velcro hand pieces you use to toss around tennis balls. So they went and told on me for not sharing. I had refused to let them play with us and my personal belongings because those particular kids were huge assholes who constantly made fun of me and my friends and would hog all the swing sets for all of recess not letting other kids have a turn. That didn't really matter to the teacher. Though. Threw a board wiper at me. Like a big heavy wooden wiper. And another teacher made a racist remark towards me. And actually got fired for something similar to another kid. Told me I was going to summer school because I was failing his class. There was no way around it. And gave me a slip for summer school. First day of summer school I get my report card. Told us that she'd put us down if we were her pets. Not students. And then made an offensive remark to a girl who was in foster care at the time. The teacher was crazy though. She was married to an IT technician and his laptop background was her posing in just a feather boa. When I was in kindergarten the teacher asked the class if we were right or left handed. I used both my mind equally well, or poorly depending on how you looked at my handwriting, so I said both. My teacher didn't think it was possible for someone to be both, ambidextrous, so she made me pick one. Since there were more people that used their right. I said I was right hander too. Being a kid. I let this pass and years later my mom reminded me about this. After years of using my right hand dominantly I am now right handed. Thanks teacher. Two things. In college I had to hand in an assignment. But I was sick that day. When I got better and handed the assignment. The professor gave me an F for handing it in late. I told him I was sick. And that I even had the doctor's note. And he told me when you go to graduate school. You will get an F if you miss one class. First of all. That is not true. Source. I am now in graduate school. Second of all. Why are you applying graduate school rules if I'm undergrad? The grade I got from that class almost made me lose my chance to enter grad school. Second story. A teacher in the third grade confiscated my pack of Pokemon cards. When she gave it back. There was only one card missing. A very rare Pikachu card which was in Japanese. And the picture showed Ash and Pikachu sitting under a tree looking at the sunset. 
I have never seen it again. Sometimes I doubt that it even existed. But I'm like 98% sure it did. TL. DR. A professor gave me an F for being sick. And a teacher confiscated stole a rare Pokemon card.